Hey guys, this is Slimon. In today's video, I'll be bringing a review of the Celestron Eclipse Smart solar filter for Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. Uh, it's a pretty neat filter, uh, has a lot of cool features to it, so we'll uh, jump right in. Before we begin, this is just a reminder to never ever view the sun with your naked eye or any magnifying device that is not filtered. Before we get started, just a little bit of background on this filter. Uh, during the whole time period leading up to the great uh, American solar eclipse of 2017, a lot of astronomy manufacturers or telescope manufacturers were pretty much coming out with products to sell quickly and get people excited about the eclipse and just kind of get things off the shelves. So there wasn't a lot of innovation coming out. People were just trying to make a lot of money, in my opinion, which is kind of sad because I felt like that was a great opportunity to get people really involved in the hobby, um, but a lot of companies were just coming out with products just to hurry and make a quick dollar. Now again, that is my opinion, but I saw a lot of products that I would have never even touched. That being said, Celestron did come out with something that I said, hey, that's pretty innovative. It's basically a uh, dust cap for your telescope with a filter inside of it. So it's only 4.2 ounces, and so it weighs next to nothing. Uh, so this was actually one of the few in my opinion, innovative products that came out during that time period leading up to the eclipse. All right, so the first thing that I'd like to mention is the aesthetics. And man, does this thing look awesome when it's on the telescope. It's basically, just like I said, a cutout design where you take out the dust cap and replace it with a film solar filter. But in doing so, you have a seamless transition from telescope to filter. Uh, basically, it looks like you just have this giant 8-inch dedicated solar telescope. It looks amazing. Um, in addition to that, there's nothing coming over the top of it or down, down the sides or anything like that. It's just a really smooth, clean design. So it looks awesome on there. The solar filter does produce a really nice yellow-orange sun if you're using a normal camera, which is what you would expect for just like a normal solar film. And it does block out 99.999% of all incoming sunlight. So only about one one thousandth of a percent of the incoming sunlight gets through, which is what you want. It also conforms to the transmission requirements of ISO 12312, dash two, meaning it is safe for solar observation. What I really, really like about the Eclipse Smart Solar Filter is it's basically um, the dust cover for your telescope with a solar filter inside of it. So rather than uh, attaching to the optical tube coming over, it actually just goes inside and secures exactly the same way that the dust cover does. Now what's really nice is not only are you securing it and then coming over, but these little tabs right here actually protrude a little bit, so you have to push them in to get it to secure, so it's really, really tight. So as you put it on, you just put it on the same way, but notice I can't push it in. Uh, I have to push in those tabs, and then it will go on, and then I can turn it. So it's a really, really secure fit. Uh, the telescope does, or the uh, filter does come with uh, Velcro straps if you want to even go further than that. But I mean, it is so solid, I have had no concerns whatsoever with it. And you really know it's secure because when you take it off, it actually makes a popping sound when those tabs come out. Hear that pop? So those tabs are popping back out into place. So it's a really, really secure fit and it looks really nice. I also think it's important to mention that although the solar filter and the dust cover are built in the same cell, the solar filter is not a replacement to the dust cover whatsoever. If you do get a stain on a solar filter that is made from film rather than glass, it is still possible to get it out, you just have to be a lot more careful. Uh, you don't want to push the film through the, the cell that it's in or rupture it in one spot, so you just got to be very, very careful um, when you rub out the stain. I actually do have one, so I'm just gonna go very, very slowly until I get it all the way off. One thing I really do like about the Eclipse Smart solar filters is they're relatively affordable. Uh, this 8 inch solar filter for the Schmidt Cassegrain was only about $50 a year ago, and it's about that same price still. So hopefully in the future they stay about that same rate, but most solar filters in this size run about Mm, 70 to a hundred dollars or so. So $50 is actually a really good price and like I said hopefully 
um, they stay at that same range. Celestron does make the Eclipse Smart solar filter for a variety of their telescopes currently. Uh, so if you have a 127 millimeter power seeker or a 130 millimeter Nexstar SLT, uh, those are both Newtonians, you can get one for those. If you have a 70 millimeter power seeker refractor, you can get one for that. Um, or the 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain, which is what this one is. And they also make it for all of their 6 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes as well. So, like I said, it is ISO 12312 2, -2, -2 um, conformant to their transmission requirements. So, you really can't go wrong with a Celestron solar filter that's designed for your telescope. Alright guys, well that's my review of the Celestron Eclipse Smart solar filter for Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. It is just a solar filter, but it is a really good one. Uh, it looks really great on here, that seamless fit. 99.999% of incoming sunlight is blocked. It's pretty affordable, which is huge plus. And that secure connection is the major selling point for me. It's super secure. You can feel pretty safe when you're using it. Um, that being said, awesome job Celestron for coming out with this product during the uh, total solar eclipse rush of 2017. Pretty innovative design from them. So if you do have a Celestron telescope and you're needing a solar filter and they make an Eclipse Smart for it, I would highly recommend it. Uh, so thanks so much for watching and uh, have a good one.